Welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we are going to be breaking a brake rod in my Grinnell RMS 1T Dual Action Pull Station. So first, here is the brake rod it comes with. It is a hollow glass tube, so that should be interesting. I've never done a hollow one before. So we'll get the keys, and we'll go ahead and open it up. I'm using my small key ring today. So to put the glass rod in, it goes right there in that crevice, if you want to call it. Just uh, take the brake rod, slide it in under the first tab, then lift up the second tab, and let the brake rod fall in. Excuse my computer, and close it up. So now that the brake rod is in, we'll go ahead and close it up. We can look at it. So under here and there you can actually see the rear got inside very clearly. And I uh, have some paper towels down on a chair in order to catch the glass. And we have another phone recording slow motion. And uh, we have my brother. Yeah. He's going to be pulling the alarm. Pulling him? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I say we get pulling. Let's uh Let's arm the system, because that would be kind of depressing not to have it armed for this. Okay, so the system is armed. I have my other thing and keys, so let's get pulling. Three, two, one. What the? All the way. Man, that's harder. So the reason it was harder was <laughs> because the glass is a tamper resistant device. So we open up the alarm, see what it looks like inside. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lot of glass. Yep, there's all the glass. So I think we're going to pretty much end it here. I'm going to clean up the glass and uh, You'll be seeing it in slow-mo. So, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. See you next video.